Well, Mr. Hernandez seems to have an unexpected ally in many congressional Republicans who have avoided funding the border wall President Trump proposed. One man trying to fix the impasse is Senator Ted Cruz of Texas. He just introduced the Ensuring Lawful Collection of Hidden Assets to Provide Order Act, El Chapo for short, named in honor of the infamous Mexican drug lord. The bill would use any asset seized from drug lords to finance the construction of the border wall. Senator Cruz joins us now. Senator, good to see you. Tucker, good to see you. Congratulations a, on the new show, by well, the way. Well, thank you. The obvious question is, why are you, one of the president's bitterest political enemies during the primaries, taking the lead in helping to fulfill one of his basic campaign promises? Why has it fallen to you? Where's everybody else? Well, listen, that was then. This is... Well, I know, but... We, like, we had a vigorous primary, but right now... We've got an historic opportunity. We have a Republican president. We have Republican heads of every agency. Right. We have Republican majorities in both Congress. I am spending every waking moment, night and day, working to help lead the fight to let's deliver on our promises. Let's do what we said. But why is no one else doing that? Well, I, look, I, I hope we see more Republicans stepping forward to do it. When it comes to the border wall, this is a common sense issue. I represent Texas. We've got 1,200 miles of border with, tech, with Mexico. And we have got to secure the border. We have promised the American people, if you elect us, we will do that. And I think we need to honor that promise. I just, again, for the third time, because I'm, I'm marveling at this, you would think that, that more in your position in the Senate would have the same attitude, but they don't. They're against the border walls. You know, many of your colleagues, the Republicans, are against it. Why do you think they're against it? Uh, well, you know, as you know, the Democrats right now are threatening to shut down the government I'm aware. to try to stop the border yes. funding. Um, I, and I think that just shows how radical they are. And... I hope and believe this new administration will follow the, follow the promise and build the border wall. What I tried to do with this legislation I introduced yesterday was provide a funding stream. And, and El Chapo, as you know, notorious drug lord, leader of the Sinaloa drug cartel, uh, is in U.S. custody. He's being, he's being prosecuted. And the, the federal government has initiated civil forfeiture actions. His fortune is estimated at $14 billion. Now, it so happens, coincidentally, that the, the estimated cost of the wall is between 14 and 20 billion dollars. So the legislation I filed yesterday was very simple. It said any proceeds that are forfeited from El Chapo and from other drug lords shall be spent building the wall and securing the border. And, and I got to say, Tucker, that there's a justice to that, in that these drug cartels are the ones crossing the border with impunity, smuggling drugs, smuggling narcotics, engaged in human trafficking. They're the ones violating our laws, and it's only fitting that their ill-gotten gains fund securing the border. The cost of a border wall is relatively low yeah. compared yeah. to a lot of other yeah. government programs. So when you hear its opponents on mm -hmm. both sides mm -hmm. cite cost as a reason to right. oppose it, what's your reaction? Ah, listen, that's a fig leaf. That's, that's not the reason they oppose it. The opponents of the border wall oppose it from the Democratic side because they support illegal immigration. Yeah. It, it is very simple. You know, back in January, I was down in McAllen on the Texas border, and, and, and I joined the, the midnight muster before the midnight border patrol went out. And I got to say, I visited with about 150 border patrol agents. The relief these men and women had at the election results, it was palpable. They were so frustrated at having spent eight years in an administration where their political superiors, you know, imagine you're out there risking your life apprehending violent cartels, traffickers. You bring them in and your political superiors process them through, release them, and the next day you're out catching the same guys all over again. They were frustrated out of their minds. Imagine how demoralizing yeah, that is. It would drive you insane. And what's astonishing is in the first couple of months of this new administration, illegal immigration has already dropped more than 50%. Now, Tucker, if back in the fall and if in August or September, October, we were to say elect a Republican who will enforce the law and illegal immigration will drop 50% before we build a mile of wall, before we hire another Border Patrol agent. The mainstream media would have ridiculed that claim, would have said, that is loony. Yeah. And, and I asked the agents, it I said, right, what's happened. changed? And they said, the only thing that's changed is the cartels understand, now we have an administration that will enforce the law. That matters. It's totally true. Really quick, last question, I can't resist. The name is brilliant and hilarious. <laughs> you actually came up with an acronym that spells El Chapo. Who thought of that? Uh, it, it's it's a, f a fellow on, on my staff, Sean is his name. He's smart, he's talented, and I, I already told him, I, I said it was brilliant, and I didn't come up with it, but when I saw it, I laughed out loud and said, we're going with that, that's fabulous. All right, if Sean ever wants a job in TV, have him, have him call me.
Thanks, Senator. Great to see you. Up next, Bill Nye.